welcome back, guys. We are back with some more uh, Tom McDonald for HOG Week. Um, and this time we are going to be revisiting Fake Woke. Because Fake Woke was, is one of literally like the one that had like the political song that was, you know, had him on Fox News. You know, it has, I think, like 35 million views or something crazy like that. Um, I know it's got a lot of views. Um, this this one is actually probably like I think the third song I actually heard from Tom McDonald. Um, the first song I heard was Snowflakes, and I was like, "Whoa, well, who's this guy?" And then I looked a little into a little further, and then I saw Dear Slim, and I was like, "Well, what's he talking about?" Because I was a huge Eminem fan, or am an Eminem fan, and then uh, and then Fake Woke. So it's like the third song I heard from Tom McDonald. So. This is what really got me interested in like kind of going down that rabbit hole and i just spiraled ever since and i've been here uh literally ever since literally ever since so uh let, let, let let's let, let's say get into some fake woke do you guys have anything you want to say about fake woke i love it uh, i'm sad i yeah i'm sad i wasn't here when it like first dropped because i me think too. it would have been epic especially because you know i like i was just I had spent from 2020 to 2021 kind of with my own like political awakening, I guess. So this would have been my anthem at the time, uh, in a sense, I guess. But uh, this is definitely when I did find him off the, the system. This was one that I quickly saw afterwards because I was just going through his you know catalog, just one right after the other. I think I watched all his videos in, in a single day, just like one mm -hmm. right after the other. It was crazy. So uh, I love this song. Y'all ready? It's edgy. I like to be edgy. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. It's super ready. ready. I think it's crazy I'm the one who they labeled as controversial and Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls. There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard, but if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's backwards, it's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom, and now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. We're ashamed to be American. You should probably love it, cause you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system and wants adults to sit down and shut up Cancel culture runs the world now The planet went crazy Label everything we say as homophobic or racist If you're white then you're privileged Guilty by association All our childhood heroes got me too or they're rapists They never freed the slaves They realized that they don't need the chains They gave us tiny screens We think we free cause we can't see the cage They knew that race war would be the game They need to play for people to big teams They use the media to feed the flame They so fake woke Facts don't care about fake All these people screaming facts, but they fake woke Hate their neighbor cause he wears a mask or he stays home Has a daughter, but his favorite artist said he slays hoes Picks her up from school, music slaps on the way home Censorship's an issue cause they choose what they erase There's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate I think Black Lives Matter was the stupidest name When the system's screwing everyone exactly the same I just wanna spend Thanksgiving Day with food and my family Without being accused of celebrating native casualties We got so divided, it's black and white and political Republicans are big it's lip tards if you're liberal There's riots in our streets and it's just getting worse Y'all screaming deep on the police Y'all a genius for sure They're underfunded already They're way too busy to work Order food and call the cops See what reaches you first Segregation ended, that's a lie in itself That was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help They knew that racism was hot if they designed it to sell We buy up every single box and divide us ourselves They so fake woke Facts don't care about feelings They know they won't tell me what to believe in They so fake, oh, same old, say so They so fake, oh, facts don't care about your feelings Use violence to get peace and wonder why it isn't working That's like sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin Politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase But you and I cannot afford it, our democracy is worthless If a man has mental illness, call him crazy, say it silently When countries going crazy, we accept it as society Get sick and take a pill when the side effects get you high You get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots They claim it's for our safety, I'll tell you what it really is Removing information that empowers all the citizens The truth doesn't damage Points of 
few that are legitimate. They're trying to change amen to amen and women. How do we let them make praying a microaggression? Instead of asking God for the strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism used to be the most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't trust anyone who bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding, but everything else that I said is right. They so fake woke. Fags don't care about feelings. They know they won't tell me what to believe in. They so fake woke. Same old, say so. They so fake woke. Fags don't care about your feelings. That last shot at the end always cracks me up a little bit because he's like, it's kind of like he's laughing at everybody. It's hilarious. Like, he knew exactly what he was doing. Does any of Oh, yeah. Hi, we're visible. Yeah. Getting set to travel this. I don't think people realize the true level of his marketing. You know? No. Like, like why he intentionally does what he does. Like, you know, it always goes back to no response, which we did earlier. You know, and he says, uh, I'm not going to keep this a secret. My marketing genius, the algorithm triggered by exploiting your weakness. Like, if you notice, all of his promos generally are something that is going to trigger someone first, get them to watch to the end, and then promo his own video. Like, he's yeah. making money <laughs> off of all of that engagement. He, people are arguing in the comments, and they're blowing it up, just making and him richer and richer. On and top, like, I, I promise you, Tom's sitting there out, going... Man. Tom's sitting there laughing his ass out because y'all y'all are doing is doing exactly what he said said that y'all were gonna do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it's it, it's a win win situation because he's putting out a genuine message, one that he needs. does believe. Like some of these people are dumb. But it's it's I a great way to spread the message. Uh, I still think he needs to do people make money promo stuff. You know, I still think he needs to do what Michael Jackson did, and anytime his name is said in a song to about. Or somebody mentions his name, he gets paid. Copyright <laughs> that shit, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, copyright your own name, something. I would be fucking hilarious. Not gonna lie. It would be. <laughs> <my name. laughs> oh man, mm. that would be funny. Yeah, I. All these disses, dude. People be owing him. <laughs> dude, for real. You know, like, a lot of people say they didn't like this chorus. A lot of reactors or whatever, there's always an issue with the hook. But, like, this is one I of my it. favorites. Like, I love this I like hook. The hook. I don't know Me why too. they don't hear what I hear. <laughs> but I love the hook. Like, and it's just, I love when he gets in his, like, aggressive bag. His delivery is very aggressive, and, and I like that. Right. A figure. Me, aggressive, never. Do you hear what I hear? Me, <laughs> aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Be, Sorry. Be aggressive. <laughs> yeah, you know, so, uh, I mean, this is like, I've never heard of Tom, like, I, I like all of Tom's music, but this used to be my favorite political song, and then The Machine took it, and then now I think it's me versus you. Right. So, yeah, I don't know, uh, Machine's still, like, machine one of my still favorites. Machine is still up there. See, and mine's yeah. either the Someone system. Someone's just so passionate. Mine's either the system or me versus you. I haven't decided yet, like. System yeah. still like got a place in my heart. Like, I do love the system yeah, too, but man. I the machine that. that hit on so many different levels for me. Like that, I I would need an entire a segment like to talk about just that alone for sure. But this is definitely yeah. the classic OG song. I think the system could be probably for me too, is because it was my first painting of Tom. You know, and I hold that. Oh, that's here. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you know it's yeah, funny. So that, like, yeah, I, it's like I jammed the shit out of that song for so long when I found it. That was the first song I ever found, and I, that shit was on Reap, Reap, and Found World. And just for kick, but, just for shits uh, and giggles, I'll post my picture in here somewhere. <laughs> there you go.
<laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah, 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 I think you should. I think you should. But yeah, I first, love this song. Um, it was the first time Tom was like, he liked it and said, he said, this is dope. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> I'm so glad yeah, I'm I, there, be... there's someone in the world that says dope as much as I do. I don't feel so alone anymore. Well, I'm trying to think, too, because we were talking about different things like first with Tom. And I'm trying to remember what video dropped the first time he ever. This was before he started doing YouTube lives. He still was just doing them basically on Facebook and uh, in the Facebook live. And I think I've shared the story a couple times, but but we'll share it again. So what he was. I can't remember the video. I need to figure out what video it was. I'm sure if I just went back and watched the, the live, I could figure it out. But, um, and I know Lacey helped me click, clip it and send it to me, uh, one of them. So Tom was yeah. really tired and he had like the bags under his eyes. And he was talking about the bags under his eyes and I made a comment and I said uh, something about whatever, Tom, you're still handsome, right? So of course the first time, ta- my interaction, first interaction ever with Tom mcdonald that's the one he read that is the thing <laughs> he was like uh he, he said something about that's you funny. know reading my comment about him being handsome you know and i was like really that's the one you have to see like that's the first one so i just i hold that little like that's like i've talked to tom many many times since then but like that little yeah. that little thing just made me i don't know i mean because he was like he's like he just smiled real big i don't know i just really liked it it was it, it was uh mm-hmm. i was fangirling big freaking time i'm uh, yelling yeah. for my daughter i'm like really oh my god <laughs> like i was flipping the fuck out over this like him reading i don't Dude, think i, I don't my think i remember freaking the first time message. i ever talked to like i don't remember our first interaction actually like and i that makes me feel kind of bad like i don't know why i don't remember i mean it's been a long time and i have adhd so it makes sense but i don't remember the first the first time thing. the first time tom said anything to me my husband was sitting next to me and i was like you can ask me i was like blushing and everything and my husband was like it's probably not even really tom and it was in discord okay so <laughs> i was like it's, it's really it's fake fake tom in the tom discord i said it's it's really tom he goes yeah right look he didn't believe it until one night he came in the voice chat and my headphones quit working and it came through my speakers and you can hear Tom's voice. He goes, oh, that's really Tom. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So let me try yeah. to tell you. Uh, <sighs> like, I, I mean, I, I know I know that there's like a couple of good, in, like there, I have one particular I, that like I can recall my favorite, one of my favorite interactions or thing that happened, I guess. But like, uh, I don't, I don't remember the first time. Now, I remember the first time talking to him in the Discord voice chat about shat my pants. Like, <laughs> about full of rice cake and all. Yep. You know? Say rice uh, cake. Well, have you ever been in a yeah, Discord? That was... That. Have you ever been in a voice chat in Discord where he comes in, he tells everybody to shut the fuck up, and then he leaves? Because that's funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is funny. I'm just got the best sense of humor. Yeah. Uh it's so funny because he like it's like i don't know he's a famous person but now he doesn't really like feel like a famous person to me well it kind of feels I mean, like he's famous yes. he yeah. kind of feels like our rich you know brother. like <laughs> well like the, the i don't know i guess the fangirl wore off you know like the initial uh um, uh be stuck in like, i don't know you might be able to handle it but when i got stuck in the, i was in the, the discord and i was by myself he popped in and I happen to look up and he says, he's like, yo, what's up? And I was, or whatever he says it, he goes, and then I was like, uh, hey, and I was stuck in there for, with him for 10 minutes, trying my hardest not to fangirl because I'm the only one in there with him. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. Yeah, no, I'd have been like, Hleh. yeah, I would. Uh, <laughs> funny, yeah. I know. Like, okay. I think that, yeah. I did that, actually, because I got really <laughs> used to, like, talking to him, like, ch- chatting. I'm chatting with him like you know in the in the discord right like uh, just back for text and then <clears throat> the first time he was in voice chat i froze i couldn't talk to him i couldn't no, say a freaking too. word i'm just sitting there like i was like uh 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 i couldn't say nothing yeah. now the next time i was able to talk to him and that's also when i got to talk to brandon hard um but uh and that oh, was really super cool. that. that was fun see, and then see and that's funny him. because yeah. at the, the con the last concert, the Brandon online concert he did, the, the two girls got mm-hmm. to talk to him. And I mean, I could have, 
but for whatever reason i froze i didn't it's like my blank my mind went blank i couldn't figure out anything to say and okay. I, maybe I, I think i fangirled you know <laughs> oh yeah because it's like well and that one with brandon is very different right because it was literally like like right now like what we're doing so he's you're talking yeah. to him and you're face to face right mm-hmm. so it's like it's not just through a text real quick or a comment it's not there you're literally like yeah. looking at him he's looking at you and you're talking and you're like um um yeah. you no, know, okay. like- so like now i'm fine i'm really fine talking to people like i've had to get used to like suppressing any type of butterfly or nerves for anything and just having to do my job because that's what i do like between coaching and being in the salon you don't have time to like be shy or whatever i had to overcome all of that because i was the worst public speaker ever like i (laughs) oh when i first started coaching it was so bad like it was so cringe i wish i had video footage from that because it was the worst thing ever i had to grow but when it so when it comes to like i am a words person right like i've always been like a writer so i can text to people i can talk to people through writing but when it's face to face it's like it doesn't come quite as quickly the thing that would really fuck me up like i think i could probably talk to tom like on video chat and be fine because i've gotten to know him so it's like it's way more comfortable now i think it's different like in person like if he was a human being in front of me like i'm not gonna lie that'd be fucked up that'd be a little weird i I might i just be like i'm trying to not to say nothing stupid Like, I don't even, like, I don't remember any of the 500 million things I had to say to you, but, uh. I, I'm telling you right now, because it will happen one day, I will ugh. meet this man. I will yeah. meet him. Yeah. But what's going to happen is. And he's going to sign. Gonna initial, he's he's going to be there first. Nope. And I'm going to cry. That's going to be gonna first. going to cry. I'm going to cry. And then, and then I'm going to cry. Like, I'm, and then I'm going to get a hug. I might do. And then, yeah, I'm going to get a hug. And then we're going to have a conversation conversation that's yeah. how that's gonna work i'm gonna cry i'm gonna get a hug and then we're gonna have a conversation so tom see. remember in, that i'm gonna cry you're gonna my give head, me a hug yeah. and then it'll, it'll be all better see in my head i, I always picture because but now that my daughter has me crocheting this tom mcdonald doll y'all okay y'all i will i will have yeah. to show y'all some processes of this or whatever but like i'm in the process of crocheting my daughter a tom mcdonald doll and it's all from my own like I'm making up the pattern as I go. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but it's working. So <laughs> anyway, so when I get through, I, I want to make another one so I can have one at the house for us. And then I want to give one to Tom when I see him in person, but I want him to sign the one for us, you know, but I can, I, I okay. see it in my head going, uh, here. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to make him sign my HOG tattoo and I'm, yes. Same. It's like I go body. even though when I say it, it's so cringe when I say it. But like, it's just something I really want. But like, mm. I don't want to like try and like. Tra- well, I mean, I guess I could just transfer. A- I mean, no, it would mean more. It'd mean more if he signed it skin. and you went and tattooed. Yeah, still, yeah. still sounds cringe every time I say it. It doesn't change, uh, no matter how I say it. But, but my my fear would be that I would uh, like embarrass myself. Like my problem is, but is, hopefully by the time I meet him, I will be comfortable. My problem is, is like, as soon as like, I I get a chance to like, it's cool in discord. I've gotten better way. Like, okay, I got a question. Let's ask it, you know, but like, like with Brandon, when he was doing the live, you know, and we all asked questions. The reason I didn't go in is because my brain literally went like blank. It's like, I went brain dead. Like, what do I ask? What do I talk about? (laughs) Yeah. Think about something before Saturday. Yeah. Comes along in case he yeah, does it again. about a good question. Well, now that so, we've listened to more prepared. of his music, maybe I'll maybe I'll have more to go on because we we're actually going down down the brain and rabbit hole. So hmm. yeah, I think yeah, and that makes me like question. I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna be thinking of a good question. Yeah, hmm. I think that's if a good we come idea. up with enough good questions. We have good questions. Maybe we can convince him to come do an interview. Yeah, see, that's what we need to do. He okay. told me that when she hits a thousand, he'd do an interview on her channel. We're already there, yeah, Brandon. I'm making, <laughs> I'm making it. I'm making it my life's mission now. Uh, I'm coming for you, Brandon. Uh, how cool would not it be that to way. have Brandon Hart be the first musician on our 
but our I, our podcast. That I would, would love so it, cool. but I, cool. there's somebody else I've been messaging back and forth. I'm hoping we get to. Ooh. Y'all know who. But yeah. Know who. But we'll keep that. Yeah. 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 But we'll keep that a secret for now. But yeah. Uh, very awesome. All right, guys. Well, only because we've got other stuff we're going to move on to, so we have more videos for you yep. uh, this week. Uh, I guess we're going to wrap up uh, that Tom McDonald fake woke. Just really got us talking because we could talk about Tom all day. So, but uh, you guys will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Get your merch at bitterbettypodcast.com. <laughs>